What is up, everyone? Scape211 here, and we're doing another hero review, and we are focusing on Gloria this time. She is a hero that you get super early and by a lot is considered really solid, great kit, very flexible, so let's take a look at that. First of all, she has her double-barreled shotgun, which will get up in your face and do some solid damage to you. Um, you know, you want to, I guess, in some sense, compare it to Victor. Overall, like per shot, I think his is higher, but he shoots a lot slower and his full clip does less damage than Gloria. So it pretty well evens out between the two um, in terms of being close up. Obviously, the more you can get in the enemy's face, the more damage you will do. So you want to do that when you are in this mode. Um, so if she only had a shotgun, that would be limiting, of course, but she has this active ability, her assault rifle, which, and between these two, you can swap back and forth, like, instantly. There's no cooldown between them, which is insane, and this is what really makes her super good, because she has this really nice assault DPS rifle here, all right? And when you compare that to, like, Mark or Hunter, she really sits right in the middle. She does more damage overall, like, per shot and uh, per clip than Mark. Uh, not quite as much as Hunter, but right in the middle, and that's really good, again, given her flexibility. The downside is that you are forced to use ADS. You lose some mobility, um, even though it helps you with accuracy, though, so that's kind of a trade-off. Um, but she does have a high recoil on this. You'll see um, in this as it travels up. So, I mean, if you start in the body and work your way up, that can be nice for headshots, but if you're trying to go all headshots, that's not the greatest. Kind of a pain. Um, but overall, still very solid. All right, so let's look at her ultimate here. She's got the quicksand bomb, which um, isn't bad. It's kind of like a grenade, but a slow action grenade here. So uh, when you first throw it, you'll do um, a decent amount of damage, but then it will count down and slow your enemies and then do a massive chunk of damage. This will take down uh, most like small to medium sized targets, but your big guys like Victor or Jabali will be left standing if they're full health, but still very significant damage. Hard to land in my opinion, um, and I would think her other ultimate here is probably the better one. Amplifier module is one where um, she puts down this giant like triangle shape and then uh, your whole team and yourself get boosted damage. I believe it's 50% boosted damage on all targets. So huge uh, damage boost and a wide area to do it with for you and your teammates. So it can really turn the tide in a firefight. Uh, so very solid ability from all I have seen and heard about it. I haven't used this one yet, but I really like it. Um, then she also, her passive is pretty darn solid. Again, I don't have this one. I've played around with it in the try mode and seen others with it. I mean, it seems cool. Um, and I, at first I didn't realize the full benefits, but the idea of getting into position and flanking your enemies with this is really good. It's actually a, quite a solid passive, uh, probably above average. So overall her kit is really strong and her flexibility is super good. So let's jump into a match. Um, I'm not going to do payload. Let's do death match. I was doing payload for other dailies that I had to do. So let's do a death match one. Um, I have to say I, I even though I like Gloria and I think she's a very good hero, um, she's not my favorite when it comes to like an assault based hero. I do like Mark or Hunter a little bit better, preferably Hunter, um, just because I, I think the hip fire and the mobility they have, I appreciate more and also the less recoil that they have on their gun. But um, the flexibility of Gloria is really what makes her so great. You know, being able to swap between those two primary type weapons is super good. Hard to deny the benefit of that. Um, she also has pretty decent HP and shield, so not bad. Somewhere in the middle, um, most characters mid-range or standard have like what she has for health and uh, health and shield, so uh, also pretty good. So overall, a lot of great things to like about Gloria for sure. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, I mean this though, like her ADS uh, type of fire is good. Uh, it has really good range too, but because of the recoil, it is hard to hold onto your target from so far away. We got an Alita over here, so I'm going to switch over to shotgun and get into her face. Maybe we can, uh, there we go. Maybe we can put some hurt on her. <laughs> and we did. All right. Very good. Uh, oh, we got a Jabali over here. Oh, also Gloria. Good. We'll take her out with the shotgun. Um, I probably don't want to be too close to just Jabali. Oh, that's an Alita, though. We'll go with against her. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Don't want to get hit by her ultimate. Looks like Jabali died there. Oh, we got Alita down there again. Just loving that I can swap between these weapons very quickly. Jabali coming back up, so we'll get the range. Uh, we'll throw a quick spin. Oh, that was a bad throw. My bad. I wanted to get him with the quicksand early. Um, 
Oh, no. Oh, and then I got hit by the quicksand. Oh, there Gloria from down below. Very good shot on the quicksand bomb on me. Got to hand it to him for that. We got a nice lead. I'm the only death we've had so far. Uh, seven to one. So let's keep that lead. Very nice. Oh, Jabali using his ultimate. Let's get him. Yeah, there we go. Like at this range, not too bad for landing headshots if you can counter the, the recoil. Oh, 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 Gloria. Get out of here. Oh, no, Alita. Oh, crap. Ah, I knew that was going to be bad. You definitely want to get close on an Alita to do the damage fast with a shotgun, but at the same time, you, it's it's hard if she has her first ultimate like that uh, just because she can do a big chunk of damage from it and heal back. So um, even though getting closer is a good idea, it can be dangerous. But, oh, she doesn't look like she's moving. I'm wondering if she DC'd there. Oh, so close to getting him. Almost, almost. There we go. All right. Uh, but I just I thought I was going to need to use my quicksand bomb. I'm glad somebody else got him, though. Yeah, see, I'm not I'm not very good with the quicksand bomb. I, I just think, even though it's okay, I think I'm going to do better with the um, the other one there. The amplifier module. There we go. Couldn't think of the name of it. Yep, Alita. Um, okay, let's let's swap. We'll get shotgun in her face. See now, see now, she did the damage there. She didn't kill me though. So I mean, there is something to be said for the idea that if she doesn't kill me, boom. See, yeah, you can you can have the shotgun. I mean, it really depends on the encounter. If you're low on health, it's gonna be bad to get in close. You're gonna have to hope you can kill her farther away. We're doing good though. Nice, nice. One thing I didn't say, oh, almost got us with the quicksand bomb, is that um, when you reload one of your weapons, it reloads both weapons. So that's really handy for this. Okay, uh, see, I tried to use my quicksand bomb and it killed one of them before they actually dropped down, which isn't bad. There we go. What was it? Yeah, overall, um, like I said, she has a really strong kit, really good hero. Uh, I largely consider a DPS hero, but one that's flexible, really useful in all different types of maps. A lot of people, like I said, I think I said, would consider her like S tier. Um, I think she's probably between S and A tier, but maybe just that's my personal preference. But she is a really good character, and I think that a lot of people are going to use her, love her, get used to her, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's great that she's early to get. So let me know your thoughts on Gloria, guys, and we'll see you out there on the battlefield.